This is James again with Real Time News and of course this is on my YouTube channel, Rumble and all the other video venues that I use. We are talking about the latest news in the in the uh, um, election cycle and that we do want to transition to let you know about my patriot supply that's you can go to jjmediaonline.net slash my patriot supply get your emergency food and or um, just the different supplies so make sure that you take a look at that um, you can get the black friday special for a week uh, emergency supply you can again you can go to jjmediaonline.net slash my patriot supply and you can enjoy that and we will keep the link down below and that way you can um, enjoy that and click on that um, so we do want to uh, bring to you the latest news that we have come across and we do thank you for for joining us and as of course as you have seen we have not been doing full shows um, we've we've kind of backed off just a little bit. We are anticipating eventually getting banned on a few uh, channels, but we're we're still trying to bring it out. We've had a lot a lot of trouble with our Facebook page, so they won't they aren't they haven't totally uh, shut us down. But we we can't do any lives, um, so something is going seriously wrong with that. All right, this first of all, jump to. Uh, the breaking news, a nonpartisan group releases disturbing findings in Michigan election results. It would seem that the tabulating equipment in each precinct has been programmed to shift a percentage of absentee votes from Trump to Biden. And of course, this was two days ago at the time of this recording, so this is a little bit, a little bit uh, behind, but just making you aware that they are aware of it. Um, so it, it says over 150 uh, Michigan citizens, including GOP poll challengers and whistleblowers who worked as paid contractors for Dominion Voting Systems and the Wayne County Clerk's Office have signed sworn affidavits attesting the, to voter fraud. And want to remind you, when you sign an affidavit, if you are not telling the truth, you can end up in prison for five years. That's one thing that the MSM, meaning main, mainstream media, is not wanting to talk about. All right. Also, CNN delivers sober presidential update to viewers. The outcome would be to reelect Donald Trump. And, of course, they, uh, much to the dismay of their viewers, CNN's far-left host, Farad Zachariah, explained President's path, President Trump's path to re-election. So he is going to be re-elected. Um, okay, list of cowardly Republicans. And this point, I, I want to spend just a little bit more time on this. The cowardly Republicans who've deserted Trump ask him to concede to Basement Joe. And this is, this is what really frustrates most Republicans. The Republican Party is different now. It's the Trump Republicans. He brought out more than what any ever have. Um, so when Republicans across the nation needed help to boost their popularity during an election, they knew they could rely on President Trump to have their backs. Even two-faced, insanely jealous Republicans, get this, like Mitt Romney, we all know he's a rhino, got the backing of the most powerful Republican since Ronald Reagan during his run for U.S. Senator in Utah. Trump helped him out. Here we go, the red elephants. Many Republicans that hold office today were elected solely because of the support from President Donald Trump. Now that they hold office, many of them have completely, and, and don't forget this, they've completely turned their backs on the president even going so far as to publicly call for him to concede the election to Joe Biden before any audit can occur. So what I'm asking for all of you that are in these districts, don't ever vote them back in. 
the rhinos. And one uh, example, Governor Brian Kemp of Georgia, for example, owes his entire election victory to President Trump. Since November 4th, Kemp has done little to help the president in his fight to overturn an election that most Republicans and a plur plurality of Americans agree was stolen. Lynn Wood, which Lynn Wood is uh, President Trump's lawyer down in Georgia, who's been fighting to uncover voter fraud in Georgia, has been threatening that he will expose ties to Dominion with Governor Brian Kemp, whose former chief of staff is a top lobbyist for Dominion and Republican Secretary of State Raffensperger. Wood also has been coming down Pretty hard on Rep. Doug Collins for abandoning President Trump, which that's good. Let's expose them for who they are. These rhinos, let's clean them out of the party. Rep. Doug, Doug Collins, formerly a staunch defender of President Trump, has remained silent on the battle Trump and his lawyers have been fighting in Georgia, conceded to GOP rival Sen uh, um, Senator Kelly Loeffler, Republican, on the eve of the election. So, let's let's remember what these Republicans are doing and let's remember that the rhinos they are. So, I mean, th this is a serious issue. So, um let's go ahead another one. <laughs> another one. This this guy, this guy is a I I listen to uh to, there, there's some things, weird things going on in Ohio, and, and I'm just I I live in Florida, but I listen to the iHeart Radio app. I I used to listen to WLW a whole lot, and and I'm telling you, there's some crazy things going on. And in fact, the trucking network, um, something happened to Steve Summers. I'm very upset about that. I do not like uh, what they've done. They need to bring him back. But you know, there's something going on. The these these uh, Idiots um, that, that just a cower to the left. Governor Mike DeWine of Ohio, who Trump brought up on stage during his rallies on several occasions, is another turncoat to Trump's supporters. Recently, DeWine urged President Trump to allow a peaceful transfer to power. Get out of here. We're not going to let them steal the election. You rhino. All right. Outside of Kemp and DeWine, there are countless others. So... Let's just go ahead. And I live here in Florida. Mike, uh, Mitt Romney, Marco Rubio, you corrupt rhino. Mike Shirley, Mike DeWine, Brian Kemp, um, of course, Georgia, Pat Toomey, PA, that's no surprise. Liz Cheney, Wyoming, that's no surprise. Doug Ducey, Arizona, Larry Hogan, um, Brad Upton, Michigan, John Corn, Corn uh, Texas, Lankford, Murkowski, that's no surprise. Ben Sassy, Susan Collins, that's no surprise. Jim Durkin, Illinois, no surprise. Dan Young, Arkansas, Francis Rooney, uh, Florida, let's get rid of him. John uh, Skimkus. Um, the one I wanted to, uh, nope, not on there. So here, uh, here are the, go ahead and take a look at that screen. And so get ready to push them out. So it is truly time to get rid of all the rhinos. All right. Senator Rand Paul, this is this is very interesting and very encouraging to me. Dr. Fauci owes an apology to every parent and school age child in America. And this is very, very important. They've lied to us. Now that the election is over, Dr. Anthony Fauci says it's okay for kids to go back to school. Unbelievable. The damage he's done to kids in America is unforgivable. He's been known as a political hack, but using kids as a political pawns in the coronavirus scam. So Dr. Fauci, get this, Dr. Fauci is saying coronavirus scam is pure evil. Listen to Dr. Fauci below. Here he goes. The default position should be to try as best as possible within reason to keep the children in school or keep them back back to school. This is what they they say. So let's go ahead and let's play the audio. See if we can get the, the audio to play. So 
and I'll, I'll start it here in a minute, um, making sure my mic is off. And we're waiting on it. Uh, it does re shut down again earlier this month. I know your default position is that you'd like to see the school schools open, but how do you make that happen? And how would you advise the incoming Biden administration on getting a sort of unified yeah. response? Well, you know, Martha, that's a good question. We get asked it all the time. You know, we say it not being facetiously as a soundbite or anything, but you know, close the bars and keep the schools open is what we really say. Obviously, you don't have one size fits all, but as I said in the past, and as you accurately quoted me, the default position should be to try as best as possible within reason to keep the children in school or to get them back to school. The best way to ensure the safety of the children in school is to get the community level of spread low. So if you mitigate the things that you know are causing spread in a very, very profound way, in a robust way. If you bring that down, you will then indirectly and ultimately protect the children in the school because the community level is determined how things go across the board. So my feeling would be the same thing. If you look at the data, the spread among children and from children is not really very big at all, not like one would have suspected. So let's try to get the kids back. But so he's changing his tune, isn't he? Little he he's corrupt. He's a corrupt. He's a he's a uh, um, he's a political opportunist. Is is basically what I what I say. All right, Michigan judge who dismissed 2020 election fraud has been exposed for releasing violent criminals into jailed sex offender. And uh, including jailed sex offender who went on to rape three women. So the, here, this Michigan judge is doesn't want the election to to go forward. Honestly, Michigan judge Tim Kenny recently dismissed a lawsuit brought by witnesses to the voter fraud at the Detroit TCF Center because he claimed the witnesses were not credible. But what did he do? He went ahead and. Um, let out, released violent criminals that ended up committing rape. I mean, you know, how corrupt can you get? Seriously, seriously. All right, we're going to end this, uh, jump to uh, Cloud Hub, and we're going to, um, Cloud Hub and Parlor. you can, um, I'm asking you to subscribe um, to all of my, all of my uh, channels, all the links are below, and uh, we're just going to go go through this real quick, and uh, then we're going to see what see what happens. All right. Oh, oh yes, yes. Right here, I'll I'll drop this link below. I'll have this link. Um, let me go ahead and uh, copy this, and I'm going to make sure I have this link to this interview. Um, this is a con. A, just a fantastic interview with Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn, of course, was pardoned. Now he's um, not under the gag order anymore. You need to listen. Click the link below. Please click the link below and listen to this interview. There are some pre. He is standing up with the president and he is helping expose the corruption. Okay, that, that's a good, good um, link for you. All right, Biden reportedly considering Cindy McCain for ambassador <laughs> position. Oh, Rhino, and Biden's not going to get in. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, he's not going to get in. Um, and then you can watch this. This is kind of funny. Um, in, in a way, the guy takes off his tie, and um, so he considers it, you know, he goes ahead and preaches and stay, keeps the church open. And... Um, it's kind of using their laws against them. All right. Um, Moderna says it will file Monday for emergency approval of the coronavirus vaccine. Isn't that amazing how all of a sudden all of them are really coming out uh, and saying they're, they're going to gonna go ahead and uh, do the vaccine. All right. Uh, let, me, let me end this real quick. Uh, I do want to remind you again. Go to jjmediaonline.net slash mypatriotsupply. That's jjmediaonline.net slash my patriot supply 
get your emergency supply that black uh, black uh, friday special in fact i we just got this picture it works great um i love it and um and they have uh, some christmas gifts uh, buy now, pay later, deals of the day. So go to jjmediaonline.net slash mypatriotsupply. We thank you for listening, and we will catch you on the next video. Make sure that you click all the links below. Support us if you would like. We would appreciate it. Subscribe, share, and connect with us. Thank you very much. We will catch you next time.